He says, Kathy Griffin. Wait, go up, read the first part of it. Yeah. Okay, new Twitter policy is freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. It's like, okay, well, really innovative, bro. This is... We reached? Uh, well, it's your finish, but this, this tweet is... Negate. He yeah. says, negative hate tweets will be max de-boosted and demonetized. Oh, like, yeah, demonetized. So no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from the rest of the internet. Then he follows up by saying, Kathy Griffin, who was reported alongside me for being mm -hmm. banned by Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, known tran uh, a, a transphobe. I don't know who the fuck Babylon B is or if that's a joke. I don't know what that is. Babylon B is, um, what do you call it? It's like the onion for conservatives. It's like the onion, but not funny, basically. Okay, okay. Yeah. And Trump decision not been made yet. Okay, but um, and Andrew Tate was let on. But my account is mysteriously uh, still permanently banned. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, Ela got permanently banned. You yeah. can't even really <laughs> say that we were that I was e ban evading. It was Ela yeah, Twitter course. account. It's arbitrary. Yeah, it's t it's just it was literally a joke. Well, it's it sounds joke. it sounds like he's considering mine hate tweets. How is yours a hate tweet? A hate because tweet is about a like minority. It's like uh, a hate tweet would be about like a yeah, protected no, group. Yeah, you are Elon. you are singling out a protected group, billionaires who own Twitter. Yeah. Well, okay. it is just, <laughs> yeah. Also, just as a side note, he spelled Kathy wrong and also Jordan wrong. Yeah, both of them are oh right. Oh, so he's a bad speller oh, wow. too. Mm -hmm. He said Jordan. He tried to spell it out. Oh, I hate him for that. Yilong Ma is probably a better speller. <laughs> My favorite part, though, Money. is new new policy. Mm -hmm. We're going to shadow ban hate speech. Yeah, that is quite literally com the number one complaint of yeah. conservatives uh, yeah. about Twitter before he bought it. That it, exactly. that is like he <laughs> specifically narrowed in on the exact thing that they were supposedly also pissed off about. I'm going to suppress hate speech on Twitter. New policy. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I think he's like, I'm gonna. She's just, but I'm, somehow they're all buying it. Like it's some weird psychology game that he played on this. Some of them are actually starting to turn on him, as you'll see the next link, because uh, there, there was another uh, development about who's not getting unbanned, and they're not happy about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but like it's hard. I feel like with almost certainty that he is specifically went out of his way to ban Ela and not unban us. It's like straight up a grudge. I think it has to be because, like we said, the Twitter was like crashing last night and there was so much going on and they went out of their the way offices, to ban my account. The offices were <laughs> locked down. And it no wasn't, badge it access. wasn't like I was messing, I wasn't messing with like insulin, you know, there wasn't like some big problem with what I tweeted, except Elon Musk. <clears throat> but you gotta love that actually we were able via Twitter to actually fucking get under this 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 loser ass fucking shitty meme sink sink let this sink in Elon I got under your skin you bitch yeah got it <coughs> but we'll see maybe maybe my account will come back and then we'll be cool again um <laughs> we'll be best buds yeah we'll he, he's my best he'll friend. be friend of the show <laughs> Elon Musk is my best friend I love him.